Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Yue Eats. I'm Yue, and today I'm in Manhattan Chinatown on a blistering 100 degree day. Now there's tons of great eats in this neighborhood, but we're going to one of my favorite places, Wa Feng Fast Food. Now Wa Feng Fast Food makes some of the best cha shao or Chinese style barbecue pork over rice in the whole country. And the best part, you get it for less than $5. Come on, let's go check it out. All right guys, it is hot as heck outside, so I'm making an executive decision and we're stopping for bubble tea first. We're going to one of my favorite spots, locally owned. Hello, uh, can I get a passion fruit green tea? 50% uh, sugar and with, uh, with bubbles? Ah, super refreshing. Just what I needed. If you've never had bubble tea before, try it sometime. Anyways, Wafeng is just down the street, so let's go check it out. And would you look at that. Even on a 100 degree day, we got this big line outside Wafeng fast food. But the line's not getting any shorter, so let's get in line. One roast pork and one roast pig, small boat. All right guys, we just got our roast pork and roast pig. Let's go find some shade and eat. I think I know the perfect spot. All right guys, we just settled down right across from this playground and with, you know, a decent amount of shade around us, uh, you have no idea how hot it is today. It's like almost 100 degrees, so let's be efficient and eat. All right guys, we got our pork rice bowls from Wa Feng Fast Food. Not just one of my favorite cheap eats in New York, but one of my favorite eats in general in New York. So first off, we got roast pork now this is called cha shao which is chinese style barbecue pork typically served over rice but not necessarily and then we have what they call roast pig now this is a roast pork without the barbecue sauce and it's prepared differently but it's got a really crispy skin and oh man both of these are just so good all that walking and waiting in the heat has made me hungry so let's dig in roast pork first mask off and let's eat Oh, oh man, oh. I don't care that it's 100 degrees out. I really wanted some Chinese style roast pork, so I came all the way here to Manhattan Chinatown. I stood and waited in 100 degree heat, but it was worth it. Chinese style barbecue pork, totally different from normal kinds of barbecue that you might be used to. It's not quite as sweet. It kind of has like a, I don't know how to explain it. If you've ever had five spice, but it's juicy, it's excellent, it's got some crispy exterior. Let me just show you guys. Look, the outside is crispy and it's got that charred exterior. The inside is fatty and juicy and moist. Every bite is just perfect. And for only $5.50. Oh. Mm. Now, if you can believe it, 10 years ago, this was $2.50 for this. I know it might look kind of small, but but it's a pretty square container. So it's a very deep bowl and they pack it really tightly. Trust me, this will fill you up. You oh, it's for YouTube. Oh, for YouTube. YouTube, want to say hi? Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, yes, very very hot. So the price went up from 250 to 450, which is what it was before the pandemic. Now sadly, this is 550, but still a steal in this inflation economy. But really, Chinese style roast pork should be eaten with rice. So let's combine it with the rice real quick. All right, we got some pork and we got some rice. Oh, perfect. So they actually drizzle some of the sauce 
on top of the whole thing. On top of the roast pork, on top of the rice, then you eat it with the rice. The rice kind of absorbs that porky barbecue flavor. Uh, it's, it's just excellent. It's like a sponge to eat barbecue Chinese pork with. Mmm. Mmm. All right, well, that's enough of this. Next, let's try the roast pig. Now guys, real talk, roast pig is actually my favorite thing to get here. And this is one of my favorite cheap eats and eats in all of Manhattan, all of New York, maybe just in general. So let's dig in. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow, that is amazing. Mm. Oh my goodness. Unlike the roast pork, the roast pig is cooked without marination, cooked without that barbecue sauce. So just look at that crispy skin. It's like eating a pork rind, but then the inside is still fatty and still moist and juicy. Oh man, it's like a perfect combination. Crunchy, salty exterior, juicy and moist and fatty interior. Combine them together and... Oh. Oh my goodness. Guys, that's, uh, it's just unreal, guys. Unreal. Uh. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was originally going to hit up more spots today, but it's, it's just really hot. It's 100 degrees, so I decided just to focus on one place and just highlight Wafeng Fast Food. But don't worry, I'll definitely be back in New York Chinatown soon. In the meanwhile, if you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you'll stay up to date whenever I post another video. I'm going to finish eating this. Until next time, I'll see you later.